The student does not defeat the teacher. A shay waqa un mutlak bel kullun mumkin. So it seems. You have won then. Go and claim your prize. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Then I will. We'll see about that. You can't! You can't! It's my destiny! Mine! I am the Prophet! You never were. Get it over with, then. No. Killing you won't bring my family back. I'm done. Nulla è reale. Tutto è lecito. Requiescat in pace. The throne was mine! Wanting something does not make it your right. What do you know? That a true leader empowers the people he rules. I will lead mankind into a new world. Che nessuno ricordi il tuo nome. Requiescat in pace. You cannot kill me! No man can murder me! Then I leave you in the hands of fate. Now it's you. How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Oh! Soldiers! Selim is not your master! You serve the Sultan! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. <coughs> Selim! Stop! Please! <coughs> so, you are the assassin. Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> you did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin?
Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. I was lucky. How many times do I have to tell you, Liam? <laughs> I make my own luck. How'd you do that, you bastard? You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. Elise! 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 Bravo. You've slain the villain. And that is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? I'm not really here. I'm not really there, either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah. A particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. Then I found this place. Jack de Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. 
Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. To wash the world clean and restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exiled and abasement forced me to reevaluate my strategy, find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Here's we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. <laughs> you were. We want a Rome that offers justice, peace, and land to all its citizens, not just the privileged few. You are just as privileged as I. I am not dictator for life. An honor bestowed upon me by the people of Rome. Would you have me refuse such a gift? We would have you think of Rome before yourself. I will unite the Republic. Senators Populuske.
put in darkness. Good. 